Hey, what's good, everyone? If there is one company that has been requested the most in the comments of my channel, it is Nuex. They just happen to have sent along recently their B7 Pro. I spent a week testing it. I'll go through what it comes with. You get a warranty card, nice recommendation sheet for how to pick out the headphones, a very informative manual. I'll also include a link to their website so you can read more about their one megahertz narrow band use and how they use the 2.4 gigahertz frequency. On the back panel, we have our input options. There's a lot to talk about, and it's really hard to describe exactly how good an in-ear system sounds, but I can tell you, after using this thing for a week, that very lightweight belt pack worked well with my over-the-head monitors and my in-ear monitors. It comes with a killer heavy-duty clamp that you can actually use to attach to the base of the transmitter. And you can then put this thing anywhere because it's rechargeable and it will recharge the receiver. So your receiver pack will just magnetically attach to the transmitter. The transmitter has a 2.4 inch screen, really great readout. The whole unit is recharged with just a nine volt power supply, it does come with a USB-C cable. I'll tell you more about that in just a second because that's one of the most killer features about the new XB7 Pro is that this little guy, not only having stereo or mono input options for combo quarter inch jacks on the back, a really easy to read display, it also has an auxiliary input, all of that in a rechargeable package that you can use USB-C to connect to a phone or a computer and record everything that you're sending into the B7 Pro via the, the quarter inch combo XLR inputs or via the aux in. And you can also use it to play along to jam tracks, hook it up to your PC, watch movies in quiet. I actually watched the movie, but I left the speakers on at one point. There's a lot that is going on in the actual unit because after a firmware update, we'll have more options in the settings menu itself. You can go into the display settings and actually change it from the vertical lines of signal to round lines of signal if you prefer that type of readout. I actually don't, so I, I go back in and changed it over. It's real simple to do that. It's real easy to navigate the entire system right from this screen. The rechargeable belt pack is simple, smooth, and sleek. There are recessed volume buttons, and then there is a pokey outy um, power on button, which you can press at one time to mute. And if you hold it down for two seconds, it will turn itself back off. Holding it back down for two more seconds turns it off. It takes about six to seven seconds for the system to synchronize and then you're good to go. You don't have to mess around with channel selection at all. It automatically scans the area, picks the strongest signals, and because of its true diversity, antennas will bounce back and forth between the strongest signals anytime interference is detected. The clamp system is really, it's simple. If you've ever attached a GoPro or seen anybody mess with a GoPro, you just screw one thing onto the bottom and then you attach the clamp to the desk. There you go. Head over to the new X B7 Pro page. Again, I'll, I'll include a link to their main site below. If you're using a Windows computer, you've got to download the drivers, pick which one based on your operating system, and then you're gonna want to grab the firmware. And then also go ahead and grab the firmware updater guide just below that. I had to look at it later on because I did have a problem trying to figure out exactly how to make the two talk, the, the updater and the firmware itself. So I'll show you that in just a second. Extract everything. The first thing that I opened up was the actual device updater. I decided to close that and instead I installed the driver, which is what I recommend you doing. It only takes a second to do it. You literally double click on it. Just go ahead, do all this kind of stuff. And then once I got over to the actual software side of things, there was a little bit of a trick um, that you have to do in order to sync the transmitter unit and the computer that you're using in order to update the firmware. You can't just open this software and expect everything to just start running. It doesn't find a device right away. You have to tell the device that it is 
talking to a computer. Once the device updater is actually running, you're gonna also wanna remember where you have downloaded the firmware itself because you're gonna to need to direct that software to the actual file. I just had everything in my downloads. It just made it easier to find it. It walks you through all this in the documentation, but one thing to know, hold down the arrow button while turning the unit on. That puts it into firmware update mode. <laughs> Don't touch anything. And then that's where you're gonna go ahead and select the file within the device updater. So open the device updater, turn the unit on while holding down the back arrow and it will be in update mode. Direct the software updater to the file, hit start update, and you will see the B7 Pro actually update. And you'll be able to also follow along on the screen of your computer. Whether you're using a Mac or Windows, both computer systems will update the unit. I only needed drivers for Windows. The Mac is gonna be plug and play. I tested for a week. I used it to plug in some multi effects and some, some play along with some jam tracks that were on the computer via USB. It's real easy to just do USB playback. As you can see within a DAW, we can now pick new X audio unit as our inputs and our outputs, and it's coming in at 48 hertz. And if you were to go over to your computer system settings, you would also see that it is going to see the new X B7 as a speaker system. So you're gonna be able to play along with tracks from within your computer. Directly to your favorite in-ears, your headphones, no wires, no nothing. If you want to record backing tracks to a USB device, you're gonna to have to use an, the aux in cable and send those backing tracks in through the aux in and then use your guitar rig through the combo inputs on the unit. Their user manual and website shows you all sorts of application scenarios and setups. I went ahead and put on some headphones, some comfy ones, sat back and watched some old classic 80s horror movies. And um, I, I wasn't afraid. I've seen that one before, but it was cool to hear all that. And then I, I caught up on some news. Unfortunately, I really hope I can film the last bit of this video because I'm gonna change over to my PC completely. This Mac is done. This is gonna really make it a lot easier for me because just this thing being an interface alone is, is mind boggling. But then the fact that it sends all of the audio to you wirelessly through the headphones very clearly. And don't let the 2.4 gigahertz range kind of put you off a little bit. I know when I see that on wireless stuff, I'm not thrilled. This thing had zero dropouts the entire week that I was using it. And it seems like they're one megahertz range. What it does, it sits in an area that's away from Wi-Fi and cell phones. Whenever there's any interference coming in the way of the signals that it has seen and picked, it will bounce around and find the cleanest of those signals. And it did that for me the whole time. The wireless charging is awesome. The way it just grabs onto it there. Great unit, Nuax. Uh, thank you very much for sending this along. Stay still. They didn't pay me for this video. They did send the product along. Everything I've said is my own opinion or information that I just wanted to pass along from the website of the manual that I thought would be interesting to you as a user. You can put it anywhere. Put it on your pedal board, clamp it onto your desk. Very cool unit. Nuax, thank you very much for sending this along for me to tell you guys about. If you guys like the video, please consider liking, maybe even subscribing on your way out the door. I'm Double and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for being here. Yeah.